How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I personally like to use tactical arbitrage. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step, um, the best ways that I like to use tactical arbitrage. Uh, I use this tool all the time. I'd say probably at least half of the things that I sold in this last month to do about $65,000 this last month came from deals that I sourced with tactical arbitrage. So this is a super powerful tool. I'm excited to show you guys how to use it. Um, if you want to check out our completely free Amazon seller discord, that's going to be linked down below. It's completely free. We talk about we talk sourcing questions, pretty much anything you want to know you can ask and um, use that community in there. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. So when you first load up tactical arbitrage, it's going to be a little bit confusing to see uh, maybe where you actually need to enter in filters. What what do I need to be searching for? So I'm going to go ahead and simplify that process for you guys as much as I possibly can. Um, step one for using tactical arbitrage is going to be to find good websites to source from. This is honestly one of the trickiest parts. I'm going to show you this trick I like to use here. You're going to go to Rakuten.com and then click on hot deals. And then this is going to list a bunch of coupon codes that are currently running. Another option you can also do is click this tab here and it'll show you um, the, the stores with the highest cash back amounts because these can add up. Um, so we got Nike at 8%. Some of these sites, there's not a lot of great ones right now. Sometimes you'll get awesome sites like Walgreens and Vitacost at like 10% cash back. Those are an awesome time to um, really dive into those stores. Um, so I'm not seeing anything that's piquing my interest there. So we're going to go ahead and check out and see if we can find some coupon deals. And this is just going to kind of give us a starting point, um, like a like a launch pad of sorts to go ahead and um, actually start scanning for that profit. So I'm just looking for sites that I personally like to source from. Um, I don't source from a whole lot of, of random um, stores you haven't heard of. Uh, pretty much everywhere I buy from, you've probably shopped from before. Um, so I'm basically just looking for like a site-wide coupon or that kind of thing. So it looks like JCPenney um, might have a 20% off site-wide or so coupon right now. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of other things. Maybe if you're ungated in uh, Under Armour, this could be interesting. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing much besides that one. Um, so after that, um, we could go over here to JCPenney and shop this 20% uh, this off over here. Um, it'll typically take you to a page full of the products that are actually on sale. Give me a second to poke around and find it, but it was up here on this top tab here. I don't do a lot of JCPenney, to be honest, but I'm always down to try something, especially if it's going to be 20% off. Uh, I personally stay away from clothing and that kind of stuff. I do a little bit of shoes, um, but in this case, I'm going to be more interested in this home and lifestyle. Um, it looks like a lot of it's probably going to be sheets, but we're also going to get stuff like this that has um, decent potential to be profitable. Um, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and grab this URL up here. Um, you're also going to want to see how many pages there are of these products. Um, it looks like there's 25 pages of products. So we're going to go back over to TA and then we'll use that information now. So we'll go type in JCPenney, we'll paste that URL, and then we'll go 1 to 25. And so now it's going to search all 25 of those pages um, for profit opportunities. And at this point we're going to go ahead and type in some filters. Um, this is where the magic really happens in this box right here. So JCPenney's cash back, uh, what was it? So we're looking at 3% cash back plus 2% from your credit card or it'll be 1%. Um, you're also going to type in that store house count of 20%. And what that's actually going to do is um, input that as part of your price. So I need to change that to 5. Um, so, so now basically it's going to be scanning the whole website at 25-ish percent off instead of scanning it at full price. And then you're going to enter the coupons later. TA will actually be able to adjust those prices for you um, and then you'll just be able to go off of that you can also type in your sales tax down here if if you live in a state with sales tax um, I like to put it um, somewhere between my my sales tax is 10% uh, but I put it a little bit lower than that because I, if I send to my prep center in Delaware I don't actually pay sales tax on it there's a little bit of a nugget for you if you guys are doing significant amount of OA um, look into getting a prep center in a state with no sales tax um, you're also going to want to set up some a little bit of filters before you actually run the search. I remove less than two sellers and more than 60. Less than two is probably going to be private label products and you don't want to compete with those. That's going to give you IP complaints and all kinds of stuff. More than 60 is just a little more competition that I'm comfortable with, even on high volume listings. Um, somebody might be hogging the buy box and all that kind of stuff to worry about. So I'm just going to remove those. I'm also looking for uh, decent reviews, so more than three, and it needs to have um, a, a three-star rating because um, otherwise it could be a problematic product that's going to get returned a bunch. Just one more thing to make sure that you um, reduce your headache as much as possible. I also filter out um, less than $9 just because it's almost impossible to make a profit under $9 and more than $200 because a, I don't want to deal with returns on a $400 item, that kind of stuff. Um, it's just my own risk mitigation, but if you want to flip expensive products, then more power to you. 
Um, over here we've got your cost to prep. Mine's really low. Um, I pay a prepper to to prep my products for me. Um, and then also over here on the right, you can input your cost to ship to Amazon actually. Um, mine's about 30 cents a pound, so that'll bake that into the cost um, of the product. And then I also look for $3 profit, gonna have to move me again, and 35% ROI. Um, you could lower that on your initial searches and then use filters later on, um, but that's just what I typically roll with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run this search um, and it'll take a little bit for all this information to come into tactical arbitrage. Um, so that's how I would personally find a good deal to um, go ahead and scan. Um, real quick for you guys, I'm going to show you if you're watching this video currently, uh, Walgreens is buy two get three or get the third cosmetics free. I'm sure there's some profit opportunity in this category here if you guys want to scan this. Um, you would do it the same exact way um, except that you would replace the discount with 33% because you're buy, buy two get one free um, and then also it looks like you might be getting 3% cash back over here. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this uh, a little bit after it comes out, then go ahead and run a Walgreens scan. I bet you'll find something good. Um, I don't want to wait for all this data to go ahead and run. See, it, it looks like it's checking um, at least 1,200 products over here. Um, so I'm going to go over and just look at some data that I've already got, show you kind of my thought process for how I look at t TA leads that I'm vetting, as well as run you through my filters. Um, the filters are super, super important. So you can see right here, right currently I've got 7,500 items in this folder. Um, that's way too many items um, and that's after we filtered out those products on the initial scan um, all the, so this technically um, and the uh, the filters think that it's all profitable at least three dollars profit um, but as you can see I've got it filtered down to 130 a lot more manageable to actually look through that much data um, if you're not filtering a good amount of your data out um, you're gonna be looking at TA junk all day um, getting your filters down is super super important so now we're gonna go over to our filter manager here um, and I'll quickly, quickly run you through everything here. Again, we've got those price filtering out. Same, same, same reasoning going on there. Um, I don't filter category or brand. You can even filter by ASIN if you want to kind of search for a specific ASIN. Um, you can search for, you can filter by in stock if you want to. Um, and you can also uh, do all kinds of stuff down here. So real quick, I'll show you. I'm looking for $3 gross profit. Typically, um, those that number would go down a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Um, so you can take a screenshot or if if you want to um, so I usually look for three dollars or 35 percent ROI um, gross just because after you consider your shipping costs and your cost to prep and if you have to pay sales tax and that kind of stuff um, those costs can really add up I generally am okay with selling a little bit below those requirements there um, but those are gonna be kind of high volume products or um, products that are almost definitely gonna sell that kind of stuff um, so I'm filtering uh, th from 35 percent ROI to 200 percent you might be asking why am I filtering out 200 percent plus ROI products um, that's because most of those products products are outliers um, you should generally be looking to filter out as many outliers as possible because TA will pull up a lot of them um, so that's kind of your game to be able to identify those outliers as quickly as possible I'm looking for one monthly sale just to um, again validate this stuff's actually selling I'm looking for three to fifty sellers here you can adjust those um, as you see fit um, but this is what I prefer to do to get rid of those private label products and heavy competition. I don't want to sell anything heavier than 10 pounds just because it would be um, kind of a nightmare and typically those are probably be like big bundled listings and that kind of stuff. I don't really want to deal with that. Um, over here we've got your average rank. 30 days and looking for under 200,000. 200,000 is still going to be a pretty slow seller but if it's like a 100% ROI or so product I would definitely be selling that one. Um, and then 90 day I'm looking for at least 250,000 just in case maybe it uh, has picked up volume recently or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and filter out that 90 day sales rank there. Um, and again, I'm filtering by ratings and reviews just to establish some bit of sales velocity. On the buy box, I select everything except for Amazon. I don't typically want to compete with Amazon. Some of these listings, I'm probably missing profit potential out on here um, because Amazon might be going in and out of stock and those can be awesome profit opportunities. So some of these, maybe Amazon's been only in stock for a week um, and I might be missing some profit opportunities. Um, but you can see that's 1,300 products that I'm able to filter out just like that and most of that is probably going to be junk anyway. Um, so again, one more opportunity that you could be eking out some profit against me if you want to go ahead and try to find those listings where Amazon gets in and off, in and out of. Um, I have several listings like that and they're super awesome if you can find them. 
because they have that really established sales velocity by the actual um, Amazon seller. And then when Amazon goes out of stock, people are still trying to buy from that listing, but it's two, even three times the price and people are still paying it. So this can be a, a nice little a nice little bonus there. Um, filtering out $200 price and then again, filtering out Amazon's in stock. So you're gonna just apply those filters there. Um, and now is the fun part where we get to um, look through all kinds of data. Um, so I'm gonna just real quickly show you how um, you would actually get through this data. I, I like to think about this as um, you're trying to get through the bad ones as fast as possible. It's super easy to see what a pro product where it's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna sell 50 of these a month and I'm making $5 profit, boom, easy. Um, but the hard part is being able to identify the products that um, are kind of close or not profitable at all and TA is still pulling them up. Um, so that's gonna be the real game is trying to get through those as fast as possible. Um, so there's some tricks you can use. Uh, this right here, the titles don't match. Um, I've got it filtered by ROI right here, so you're likely to get some outliers, some stuff that's not actually real here at the top. Let's see if we can find anything crazy profitable, but most of the time this is gonna be um, kind of more uh, some junk or two packs that TA doesn't see. Um, but it's always worth a shot. So this is a two pack. It doesn't see um, This looks like it's probably more than three packs and this is only three um, we've got This one right here. This could be interesting. This looks like a private label product to me just by looking at the branding and stuff um, But we can go ahead and check it out here so Ace and Gadget over here says that I'm not restricted, which is nice. Um, looks like it might be in review for Hazmat, um, and it's not multiple, so there's um, some some checklists here. This keep is looking a little weird. Um, the fact that it's been selling for the same price for so long probably tells me that the same seller has been get sitting on the buy box for quite a while. One way you can actually tell that is by going to Keepa, go to buy box statistics, and then you can look at the buy box rotation. It looks like these two sellers are sitting on the buy box here, um, but. We can go ahead and see how many sellers are actually on this listing, see if they're competitively priced and that kind of stuff. Um, it looks like these other guys are priced a little too high, so it makes sense that the buy box isn't rotating. Um, we would go ahead and check out the source at this point. Um, let's see if it's the right capsule count, that kind of stuff. Um, so we're looking at a 365 count of vitamin C. Um, okay, we got a, a mismatched vitamin type here. Um, so that is a no-go. Um, but I recently started using this this tool right here. Um, it's an awesome tool. I used to use this one. I get questions about it, how it, it will show me um, that I'm gated or not gated. Um, but this is a new tool. I'm recently partnered up with them um, to get you guys a coupon and this. It's only $30 lifetime subscription. If you want to go down below, there's going to be a link for Ace and Gadget. Use code FOP for $5 off. Um, I think that's a steal of a deal for doing online arbitrage. Um, and it'll save you lots of clicks. Um, but let's go back over here to Tactical Arbitrage, see if we can find anything. Uh, I'm just going to kind of quickly scroll here. This one I'm going to skip because Amazon usually sells it and it doesn't really sell at the current price. Um, this one looks a little more interesting. So we've got the names seem to match here. Um, the Walmart picture makes sense. Uh, it looks like it's selling by the brand. So I'd imagine that the brand might be selling it on Amazon, um, but I don't see them in the buy box. So that's a good sign. Um, let's see here. So I'm looking for the brand is uh, Swiss Diamond. We'll see if they're selling it over here on Amazon. Um, I'm not seeing them over here, which is a nice sign. Uh, generally, you don't want to compete on listings where the um, the brand is already selling on it. Um, again, we've got this flat line, which makes me think that somebody might be camped out on the buy box. We'll go ahead and check here. See what we got going on. Um, looks like the buy box is rotating pretty evenly. You can filter by time when the ro when it rotated. So it looks like it's still rotating currently between five sellers. Um, and I've got to be missing something here. Um, is it the exact same? Uh, it looks like this one's a tiny bit different just because it's got this handle differential here. Um, so we're going to keep moving here. So I actually found something interesting just right away. You can see this frying pan was right there. Um, and I found this blush right here. Uh, looks like it's sitting on Walmart for eleven sixty, which is nice because you can also get sales tax exempt from Walmart. If you want to go ahead and know how to get sales tax exempt on Walmart, it's going to be a video uh, up in that corner. Um, so we're buying it from Walmart for eleven sixty. It is a third party seller. Um, I have not had a bad track record with those, but I know some people who have. So it's up to you whether you would buy this product. I personally probably um, would have no problem. You can always return it if there's counterfeit issues or anything like that. Um, so we're buying it for eleven sixty from here. 
Um, and over here, we're looking to make sure it's the same size. We got 0.16 ounces. Looks like it's selling for $25. Um, we're going to go down here to the Keepa, um, and it's pretty consistently selling for even $27. It looks like the buy box is kind of doing something weird here. So worst case, you're going to sell this for $25, but really you could probably sell them all at $27. So we'll just call it $26, average it out, average it out a little bit there. Um, so we're going to be making $19.40. Minus our buy cost over here is going to be 1160 just because you can get sales tax exempt, so I'm not going to include that. So the profit margin here is pretty, pretty nice. Um, we're, it's, again, it's the same size, same size. Everything looks good to me. Um, at this point, we would want to see how many uh, units we can actually sell of this product. Um, so we're going to go down here to uh, the data tab and find the 30-day average sales rank and then plug that into our free sales estimator. Um, so the 30-day average sales rank is 8,000. Um, we're going to go over here to junglescout.com slash estimator. Um, we're looking at, I think it was about 8,400 just to, just to be a little more um, conservative with it. We're looking at beauty and personal care. Um, so this whole listing is doing 1,350 sales every month, um, but it does have variations. So we're going to check the variations and make sure that this specific color is actually selling. Looks like it is selling. Um, it's 63% of the reviews, so we can reasonably infer that 63% of the sales on this listing are coming through this color. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this 1350 number um, over here. We're going to go 1350 times 0.63. So that's how many units of this specific blush are selling every month. Um, and then we're going to divide the competitive sellers on this listing, meaning sellers within um, a couple percentages of the buy box. So we're looking at one, two, three, four five, six, um, looks like six competitive sellers there. Um, I'm not seeing anybody else on here who's at the right price. Um, they would have to be both an FBA seller and selling um, at the buy box price, which is that $25 price right now. So you would be number seven, meaning that you could probably sell around 100 units of this product every month um, times that, what was our profit on here? We're looking at uh, 780 profit. Um, so that's going to be a pretty nice return there. Um, about $700 a month in profit on this one. Um, so that's not bad at all. So I'm just looking for any last little things I can find here. If you guys want to go ahead and check out Tactical Arbitrage, um, you can get a 10-day free trial if you use my code down below. Uh, use promo code FIELDS and you get a longer free trial. Try it out. If you don't like it, then cancel it um, or come try it out, buy a couple items, uh, cancel it, and then come back when you're ready to buy some more items. Um, I know that's what I did when I first started, um, so definitely no shame to you if you have to do that. Um, but my code will get you a little bit of a free trial. Um, I'm going to just run through a couple more here on these keepographs. Um, this one looks a little strange, but we're buying it for $20, so we could check it real quick here. Um, we're, generally, I'd be looking for the ounces on this one. This is, says it's mini. Um, and this doesn't say anything about being mini, so I'm probably going to um, skip that one, probably a size mismatch. Um, this one looks a little bit more intriguing, except this is only one set and this is three. Uh, this this purple here means that Tactical Arbitrage knows that it's a multi-pack, um, because over here it looks like we probably got a pack of two, but it's pricing that in. Um, it's actually out of stock, unfortunately. Um, looks like it was going to be a pretty decently profitable deal over here. So unfortunately, we'll have to pass on that. You can actually press this button to get a get in stock alert. Um, I get a couple emails a week from Walmart telling me that products are in stock. Um, I've already done the research on these, so I'm just buying as many as I can typically. Um, and then they'll go back out of stock pretty fast. So if you guys learned anything from this video today, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. That helps my business out. I hopefully helped out your business in this video today. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out a free trial of Tactical Arbitrage, again, that's going to be down below. Or if you want to check out our completely free Amazon seller discord, um, all kinds of info is packed into there. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them down below. Hit that like button. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I will see you next time.